Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be checking out the latest update in Krunker.io, in particular the new trading feature. You guys have been waiting for trading for such a long time, and I'm very happy to say it's finally in the game. So I thought today, hey, let's go and check out the new update. Let's go and do a little bit of a tutorial on how to go and trade in Krunker.io, so when you guys hop online, you know exactly how to go and trade items with your friends. Now, before we hop into the video, I have a very, very special announcement. To go and celebrate this new trading system, I'm going to be giving away one of my rarest skins in Krunker.io and that is the Intervention 6. And the way to go and enter this giveaway is really, really simple. Now, the first thing you guys need to do is go and smash that like button. Go and smash that like button right now. And if we hit 7,000 likes, I will go and give away another Krunker.io skin. Now, the second thing you need to do is go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button right now and also turn on bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a single Krunker.io upload. Now, the third thing to do is really, really important. In the comment section below, go and comment your Krunker in-game name. So I can go and send you the skin if you are the winner. But also in that comment, go and tell me what you want as the second skin for this giveaway. Do you want me to give away a lightning? Do you want the acid howl, the bowler? Go and tell me in the comment section below. And hey, if we hit 7,000 likes, I will go and choose a second item to give away as well. All right, my friends, Krunk update 2.3.9. I don't usually go over the patch notes, but there's one thing I want to talk about. Level requirement for trading will be set to level 20 after tomorrow. Currently, it's only for verified players like myself. Yourself. However, tomorrow, if you're over level 20, you will be able to go and trade. Now, besides trading, there is two very quick features I want to go and mention. The first one is if you go and host a custom game, you can go and host a 40 player server now if you go and pay 1000 KR, which is absolutely insane. Now, the other feature, which is very, very important, especially for traders, is the new estimated value for your inventory. So, if you go to the Krunker market and it goes and loads up, if you go to your inventory, in the top right hand corner, it will go and tell you the estimated value of your inventory. So for me, mine is worth 681,923 KR approximately. And as you can see, for each individual item, it goes and shows approximately how much it is worth. So this Flame Fang, about 15,000 KR. This Intervention 6, the one I'm giving away in this video, it's worth a crazy amount of KR, 25,000 KR. You could go and sell that and you could do a ton of spins. You could buy other items or you could go and keep it. It's up to you. All right, my friends, let's get straight into it, showing you guys how to go and trade in Krunker.io. Now, the first thing I'm going to go and show off is if you want to go and initiate the trade. So if you want to go and say, hey, I want these items from this player. So what you need to go and do is go to your uh, go to your main screen and click the social button and it'll go and bring up the Krunker social hub. Now what you need to go and do is find the player that you want to go and request a trade with. So for example, if I want to go and trade with Frosty Wolf, he's right here on the main screen. But you guys might be asking, but my friend isn't in the top hand at 100 or whatnot. How can I go and find them? Well, my friends, go to here, go to this link, and then at the very end, go and type in the name. So, for example, if I want to go and find, you know, want to trade with Mosswe, I will go and type in Mosswe, and it will go and pull up his profile. Now, as you can see, it actually logged me out. The game is a little bit laggy, a little bit buggy. So what you guys need to do is make sure that you're logged in. So as you can see, there is no trade button currently. So click that login, go and sign in to your account, and then it will go and pop up trade. So as you can see, trade right here. Now what I want to go and do now is initiate a trade to Mosui. So I will go and click that trade button, it will go and load up, and I can go and choose which items I want to go and trade with mine. All right, so as you can see, he has quite a few cool skins. He's got the Egg Tame, he's got Serena 92, he's got the Bowler. So I'm just gonna say, hey, I want your Bowlers, I want your Egg Tamer, and I also want your UFO. And so, okay, those are, these are the items that I want. And as you can see, you can only trade a max of five in one transaction. Now, what I'm gonna request is, hey, I want to go and trade all of these items for a Trail Scout. I have to say, one of the best skins in the game, so I think this is a very, very, very worthwhile trade. 
So what you're going to go and do now is submit the offer. So this doesn't mean you automatically get those skins. You're just saying, hey, I offer my trail scout for these five items. So I'm going to go and hit submit offer and that will go and send the offer to him. All right, so the next stage is how do you go and track the status of your trade? How do you know if the person has accepted it or if you have any trades that people have sent to you? So what you guys need to do is go to your shop and then go to the Krunker market. And when you're in the Krunker market, it goes and takes a little bit to go and load up. The market has been a little bit laggy recently, but once it goes and loads up, go to your trade section. All right, my friends, I've had a ton of issues trying to log into the Krunker market. It just wouldn't let me. I got a ton of errors. And in the end, I had to go and swap through the clients and eventually C client worked for me. So if you get any login errors, try and go and swap to something else. But with that said, going back onto what we were originally trying to go and do, and that is check our trade. So if you go to trades here, it will go and show you your incoming and outgoing trades. So as you can see, my trade before to Moswe, my one uh, very, very bad skin for all of his uh, contrabands, as you can see, that one is here. And if you go and click on it, it goes and has a little bit more detail, shows the trail scout and the individual items. And if you go and click on the item, as you can go and see, it will go and bring up that item. And this can be very, very useful. So it goes and brings up the item. And once the graphs go and load, you can go and see how much it actually is worth for. So as you can see here, it's been consistently worth one. There is a big peak. Some guy just mispaid for the price, poor guy. But as you can see, this one is worth only 1KR very, very uh, generally. But if we go and get rid of that and then have a look at, let's say, the Bowler SMG to go and compare. So you could go and click the item and say, hey, this is on average worth this amount of KR versus this item, which is on average this amount of KR. So you can go and weigh it up. So as you can see here, 30 days, you can even go to 90 days and you can go and see what the average sale price is. So 9,682, it's been selling around that 10,000 mark lately. And so, you know, if you had another item worth 10,000 KR, that's probably a worthwhile trade. All right, so let's go and say you did the trade and you got an item that's actually worth more KR than the one you gave away. So you made a profit, a quite nice profit, let's say two, 3,000 KR. And you wanna go and get that KR into your account. Well, to go and get that KR, you need to go and sell the item. And I'm gonna go and take this Pride Sniper Rifle as an example. So if you go and click on it, as you can see, it says list price in KR, uh, so on, so on, that's standard. And down here, it says the estimated price. So it says 4,100KR for the estimated price of the Pride Sniper Rifle. Now, when I mean estimated, I really mean estimated. And please be wary because this can be quite misleading. So if you go to the search here, I'm gonna go and type in Pride. It will go and come up with all the Prides that are currently on the market. And you can go and see there is quite a big variance. So we've got the Pride Sniper Rifle here, all the way up the top, 8,700 KR. And then we've got one version down here, 3,666 KR. It was listed one hour, 25 minutes ago. So somebody can go and buy this. So this is definitely the lowest, lowest price that you can actually go and get this for. Who's gonna go and buy it for a higher price when you can go and get it for the lower price? So overall, please be wary because 4,100 KR, I'm not 100% sure how it's how the average is calculated, but it could potentially be, you know, you just line them up from here to here, it picks the middle, which would be 4,100 KR, because that's, you know, in the middle. This is also very important in your trade, so make sure to go and check those graphs. So you go and click that little uh, question mark here, it goes and pops up a window, and it'll go and show you the estimated price for the last 30 days, seven days, 90 days, and so on. So you can go and get a decent idea. So as you can see, it's on the lower and lower. It's going down and down. 3,442, the average price for this last week. So you actually, this is a little bit higher than average. So overall, that means prices might be coming down a little bit more or going up. Overall, the indicators are a bit hard to read. Overall, 
this is just a very, very quick guide on being careful when it comes to trading and not getting scammed. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But with that said, my friends, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to go and enter the giveaway for the Intervention 6 25,000 KR worth. I'm going to be giving away one right with this video. Make sure to go and like the video, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below to enter. Bye, everyone. It's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.